we have uh, about 25,000 square feet of wet lab space. Inside these NOAA research labs in Newport, scientists are simulating conditions you'd find in the Arctic. Not only are the rooms chilled, so is the seawater inside these tanks. We can take water that's off here at the Oregon coast and we can chill it down. To sub-zero temperatures. That's what the fish inside the tanks are used to. These are Arctic cod. Researchers here are studying the fish to see how they respond to warming ocean conditions. This is important because the fish are a critical part of the Arctic food chain. They're really uh, ecologically important in the sense that uh, everything in the Arctic eats them. The scientists here discovered even a slight change in water temperature is detrimental to the fish. They're used to being in that as coldest water as you can, you can pretty much get at minus 1.8 degrees. And, and, you know, small changes in temperature outside of that, we're finding they're, they don't survive. And if the cod don't survive, the worry is neither will many other creatures in the Arctic. It's sort of our bellwether into um, um, how the Arctic is going to respond to climate change. The researchers are also studying Pacific cod and found those fish are being impacted as well. This Bureau's assessment indicates that uh, the cod stocks are down by about 80 percent over what they have been recently. And that's going to have big consequences on the fisheries. And a major impact on the Oregon and Washington fishing families that depend on Pacific cod to make a living. As a result, there could be new restrictions on Pacific cod fishing this year. It's something the Fishery Council is currently looking into. Now, the NOAA study found a warmer ocean conditions also led to more algae blooms in the Arctic, and that is something we also see here off the Oregon coast. Those blooms often lead to areas of low oxygen in our ocean, also known as dead zones.